Mina, come on, Jesus freaking gamer here, coming at you with Deuteronomy chapter 21, and we're going to start with verse 10. Let's come in with a humdinger today. When you go out to war against your enemies, and the Lord your God delivers them into your hand, and you take them captive, and you see among the captives a beautiful woman, and desire her and would take her for your wife. Then you shall bring her home to your house, and she shall shave her head and trim her nails. She shall put off the clothes of her captivity, remain in your house, and mourn her father and her mother a full month. After that you may go into her and be her husband, and she shall be your wife. And it shall be if you have no delight in her, then you shall set her free, but you certainly shall not sell her for money. You shall not treat her brutally because you have humbled her. So there can be unending hate against the Bible and against me for believing in it and against believers for believing in it and me particularly for pointing out verses like this all day long, all day long, for days. I hope this challenges some Christians who don't even know this is in the Bible and makes them think, why the heck is that in there? What the heck is this doing in the loving God's Bible? Is my religion about love and light and peace and all that good stuff? Not always. There's some dark stuff in this book here. And the Bible did condone slavery in the Old Testament, gave rules on how to treat your slaves. And in the New Testament, it's never expressly condemned. So, without going into a full sermon to explain, try to explain away how God's a just God and a loving God while permitting slavery, I'd like to just point out a few things. That... Yes, in this culture, back in this time, they wiped out all the men and all the women who weren't virgins. That's how they did it. And here, a beautiful woman's found. One of the soldiers is like, hey, I like her. She's hot. I want that one. He had to, he had to bring her into his home. He had to give her a full month to mourn for the death of her mother and father, which... Yeah, he and the soldiers did do. But she was given a month to mourn for her parents. And then once he bedded her, if he didn't like her and he didn't keep her, then he could not sell her and she was made a free woman. So say as much as you want about how, you know, the God of the Bible is evil, how the Bible is just full of crap. God apparently cares about how even these slaves are treated. He cares about their human rights to some extent or another. And that's not something you hear very often from either the Christians or the non-Christians. Something to think about. God does love. God does care. And, I'm not, and again, this is not to explain the full picture. It's simply to point out, hey, even when slavery was allowed... It wasn't just this brutal, rapey, horrible thing. There was some care and some treatment. Or at least there should have been if the Israelites did according to God's word. Something to think about. I love you guys and God bless.